Hi, everybody. I'm David Sparks, and I'm here to share with you this great application called Drafts for the iPhone and iPad. You may ask yourself, why is Drafts so special? Well, Drafts is all about text, and text is kind of hard on the iPhone and iPad. Most applications make it difficult for you to get them open and start writing text, not Drafts. With Drafts, capture is so easy. You just open the application, it's got a blinking cursor on the screen, and you can start typing right away. There's nothing to set up, no files to open, just type. Drafts is also special because once you've typed that text, it allows you to process it very quickly. You can take the text and send it off as an email or a text message. You can put it on social media like Facebook or Twitter. You can even put that text into a different application or drop it on your clipboard. So using Drafts, you can both capture and process text lightning quick. Drafts frees you from that notepad you've been carrying around. As long as you have drafts installed on your iPhone, you don't need it because any kind of text you need to capture quickly, you can do right on your phone or your iPad. Because drafts is on both the iPad and iPhone, you'll never be without it. Drafts can dramatically improve your productivity and these screencasts will show you how. Let's get started using drafts. I'm on my iPhone and I'm going to go ahead and open the drafts application and you can see I get that blinking cursor in the keyboard. It's ready to go the moment I open it up. So let's type something in. All right, I've got some text here and now I want to do something with that. So I've done the capture, now let's do the process. I can hit the drafts action button in the upper right corner or if I want, I can slide over from the right side of the screen and get the same options. I'm going to go to the basic uh, list of options and I'm going to just tap on copy to clipboard. Just like that I've put that text into my clipboard. So now I'm going to exit the drafts application and open the Apple Notes application. And I have a blank note here so I'll go ahead and paste in that text I just typed in drafts and you can see how easy it is to capture and process text using drafts. So that's copy to clipboard. Let's do something else with that text though. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of notes and go back into drafts. You can see I've still got that text available, so I'll swipe over, and I'm going to create a new text message. So I'll just tap on the message button, and you can see the text is already inserted at the bottom. At the top, I can just put a recipient in and send that message. Now let's do an email in drafts. I'm going to go back and create a new draft by tapping on the plus sign at the top left of the screen and type an email message. And with drafts, it will take the first line as the subject and the rest of the lines as the body of the email. Okay, so I've got my message typed in and I want to send it as an email, so I'll swipe in from the right and tap the email button. And you can see just like that, drafts went ahead and created an email for me. Use the first line as a subject and the rest of the uh, lines as the body of the message. Now all I have to do is type in a recipient and press the send button. You can also use drafts to add items to your reminders list on your iPhone. So I'll create a new draft and then I will swipe over from the right and say add to my reminders list. Now that I've done that I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the drafts application and open the reminders app. And if I go down to my reminders list you'll see my kumquats has been added. Now let me show you a few draft actions on the iPad. Okay, I'm over on the iPad and I've got drafts here, so I'll go ahead and open it. And you can see it looks pretty similar to the iPhone version, but a little different because of the orientation of the iPad. Uh, if I swipe over from the right side, you're going to see that list of drafts actions that uh, I saw on the iPhone. And if I go over to the left side, you see a list of the uh, most recent drafts. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and write in one about social media. I like writing funny things on Twitter, but the problem is I'm just not that fast at it, and sometimes I need a little bit of time to think about it. So I will add it to drafts and kind of cook it there. And when it's ready to go, I'll swipe over from the right side of the screen, and under the social tab, you can see this Twitter button. If I tap that, it will send the tweet out into the world. I'm going to go ahead and create a new draft now and uh, put in one of my favorite Mark Twain quotes. Now I've got that in, let's say I want to use it to start writing a document. Uh, you can share these two applications. So let me show you that. I'm going to swipe over from the right side of the screen and go to the basic services. And you'll see there's one there called share. 
from which I can save that draft to a variety of different applications. I can also tap on the Open In button and get a list of applications that will accept text. Byword's one of my favorite text editors, so I'll go ahead and tap that. And now it just opened a new note in Byword with that quote as a beginning. This is a great place to sit down and write a blog post or a paper based on that quotation that started in drafts. Now I'm going to go back in drafts and add another Mark Twain quote. Now this time, instead of saving it into an application, I'm going to save it as a text file to my Dropbox. So I'll swipe over from the right side of the screen and I will go over to the services menu and you can see one of those is save to Dropbox. Now when I tap that, it's going to automatically save that text to a text file on a designated folder on my Dropbox. So let's go ahead and exit the application and open up Dropbox. And you can see I'm in the drafts folder. And if I tap on that little text file, there it is. It's already saved. There's so much you can do with drafts. Take a minute to learn this application. There's a bunch of additional screencasts here that will show you all the nitty gritty detail. Go through it, learn how to use it. Once you start getting an appreciation for everything you can do with text on your iPhone and iPad, you're going to love this app. It allows you to capture and process quickly and makes you more productive.